What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know it has been a hot minute and I know the context of the video might be different from how I'm looking at it right now, but the original intro I recorded was super out of focus, so I'm just gonna like make a new intro right now. So the following video, I am going to buy my very first hot toy. Yes, it is something that I've been interested in, but didn't really pull the trigger until now. So hopefully you enjoy. Without further ado, here's the video. what I could potentially get myself into. Not Marvel, maybe not all Marvel, because I even before I've been wanting that Doctor Strange, because it's so freaking cool. But I don't know. I don't know if I want to step step into this right now, but here's everything they got. I'll show like other scale stuff just to show you guys what's going on, but here's all the Marvel hot toys that they got. And then they have just the Hall of Iron Man. <laughs> so let's see what else they got. And this is really surprising because about, I think last month, a couple weeks ago, this thing, there was about seven of the comic Spider-Man. Not the comic paint, but just the comic version Spider-Man. And that's where I picked mine up and they're all sold out. And it looks like they got five miles. They got the Homecoming Spider-Man. They got like a decent amount. So, but yeah, surprise. They got Newt from Crimson and Grindelwald. I'm surprised. Oh, it's a good thing though. It's a good thing because it means they're selling it. They got Aquaman, Bank Joker. They got about four Venom. And then they have the Mafex Black Panther. I might want to get this guy one day. I just think Black Panther is cool, so. This is the Mayfax section right now. It's usually pretty stock, but I mean, good. I mean, they just had a sale, so it's good that things are selling up. And then here, this is the section that I'm, I'm here for. Hot toys. I know, I kind of never thought that I'd be collecting hot toys. Here is the Crimes of Grindelwald. Shout out to Josh Pence when he was having his live stream. Uh, they were talking about a bunch of hot toys that made me want some. So, this is where I'm at right now. <laughs> it's a lot of all up to this point. Yeah, a couple of the Iron Man ones. So, some more 1 6 scale. Some statues. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy to just think about and look at. Alright, uh, Spider. Yeah. I glanced at it. I don't know if you can see what I'm trying to pick up. Oh, here. I'll show you guys their display case. Now, I don't know if they're selling these. I hope they are. Because I would definitely get those two and those two real quick. But I don't know if they are selling it, so I gotta ask. This is it? Sorry about that, I didn't realize that my mic wasn't set up, but here is some of the Figmas. I've been a huge, I've been getting into Figmas a lot lately. It's one of my main lines. So, this section here, same as last time, I've been really light, but they still got four Gilded Machines. I really want to pick that up because I don't want it to sell out. But, yeah, there's the scene that enjoys the best. Quick overview of the store. This is a pretty dope shop. I've been here a couple times. A couple times. Here is some of the Saint Seiya stuff. For those that are into it. Apologize for the loud music, but it's what it is. And then their Dragon Ball SA section has been looking pretty empty. They had like a piece in it. Sorry if I keep saying that, but I just... Because last time I was here, it was, it was pretty well stocked. But now, since... They had their sale. It's good. They sold a bunch of stuff. So a bunch of stuff is gone. So happy for them. You two still want. Freddy you still want, but that's still kind of expensive for Freddy. So.
Cool. So we made it back to the house, made it back to the figure shelf. Uh, I didn't want it to be too long of a hunt, so I apologize that the video isn't too, too crazy. I just mainly wanted to go there for one thing and just showcase what they had so you guys can get a glimpse of what type, what type of um, figure stores they do have here in Korea. So they just finished a sale, I think, uh, the other day, yesterday or the other day, and a lot of their stock was kind of gone. I was kind of surprised. If you watch my first video with them, they like the stock is dramatically different so without further ado i'm just gonna show you guys what i picked up drum roll please bam it is the star wars attack of the clones count dooku hot toy yes this is the very first hot toy in my collection the very first hot toy i've ever purchased uh i do have the empire strikes back uh Darth Vader on pre-order, the one that was just announced, I think, last week. So I do have him on pre-order, and I have the Mandalorian on pre-order. So this is the first actual hot toy I purchased that is in my hands. And the way this came about is actually, I was watching Josh Pence's live stream, one of his live streams, and I just popped in the question, hey, like, are hot toys worth it? Like, you know, are hot toys, like, worth the time, the money? And... I'm pretty sure it's an obvious question that yes, since they are like highly detailed figures. But for this, I got this for an absolute steal. So he was going for about two fifteen at Hero Time at one of my local stores, and I got him for two hundred. I actually got him for a pretty good price, so I couldn't pass that up. And I was like, all right, this thing is my first dive into hot toys. I've been watching a bunch of videos. I've been watching. A uh, bunch of Hot Toys collectors and you know, I think this is a good purchase. So hopefully uh, If you guys are interested, I'll probably make another video of this. Uh, sorry. I haven't been making videos uh, Just been busy, but as you can see like when I first made My first video my first hero time video. I think I got this dude the oh no not this dude uh, This dude the Darth Maul and he was my first Star Wars figures and as you can see now, I have all of these. I have these are the black. This is the black series shelf, and this is the SHF shelf. So I've been getting into Star Wars very, very fast. Probably not as fast as a lot of people, but fast enough for my budget. So yeah, very, very thankful to get this. If you guys do want to see a video of me just unboxing it, I don't know if I want to do figure reviews anymore, just because there's a lot of other people out there that are way, way, way better than me that I look up to. So probably just start making hunt videos and just whatever content I feel like is fun to do. So if you guys are down with that, got two words for it. No, joking. If you guys are down with that, let me know. Please like the video, please subscribe. And yeah, here's to making more videos consistently in the future. Peace.